Hi folks, I'm Dennis Craig with the Gideons International. I met a man named Istvan from Hungary, and I want you to hear his story, a story that has the Gideon Bible as part of his salvation testimony. I want you to listen carefully. My name is Istvan. Uh, I was born in Hungary. I was born and I was raised in an atheist family. And uh, when I, until the age of 48, nobody ever told me about Jesus. And all my life when I was young, I wanted to travel. And to tell you the truth, it happened. Uh, after 23 years working in various positions in companies, I realized that I traveled a lot. So I was on the top of my career. I was finance, administration, HR, whatever, uh, director of a large multinational company. And uh, I just enjoyed life. I was making lots of money. I built a nice home and I have a nice car, wife, children. So I should have been happy, but I felt something. I had a secret. I was not faithful to my wife and I just loved her and I was still not faithful to her. So one day I had uh, a dream. I saw her and our friend on a hill and they looked at me and the guy said, uh, it's true. And in my dream, I started screaming and I woke myself up and my wife asked me what's going on. And I told her and she looked at me and she started crying and she said, I was not faithful to you. And I said, it's okay. I forgive you. Everybody does this. I have no problem with that. And then a few days later, I told my secret. So that broke her heart. And then we tried to work it out. Um, we decided to, to spend some time together and try to solve this issue, and but we could not. So for several months it went on, and one night uh, she said, I cannot do this anymore, so she went over to a friend, and then she sent me a message. Uh, I met God, everything is all right. She came home, she told me, you just need to pray and then you will sleep. So I prayed and I could not sleep. I prayed again and I could not sleep. So I called the husband of this couple. They were nice people. And the same night I called him and he said, yeah, sure, come over. So I went over and he said, I know what your problem is. You don't understand forgiveness. And I said, no, I forgive her. I have no problem with her. She's okay. I, don't, I have no problem with her. And he said, okay, and what about you? And I said, oh yeah, I, I'm a bad guy. I want to suffer all my life. I want to remember what I did to her. I want to suffer. He said, you don't have to. And I said, sure, I don't have to. And he said, yes, you don't have to. You read the Bible? And I said, no, I, you know, I tried, but it's very hard. Uh, the language is kind of old and I don't understand all those names and everything. So he gave me a short, uh, summary of Christianity and then he said do you know Jesus and I said I think I don't know and then he said there's a Bible and he wrote uh, a Gideon's Bible which was on his table a small one like this blue in Hungarian and he gave it to me we read it and I open and I start reading and I say oh yeah pff, interesting it makes sense I understand this. This is probably a different translation than those ones which I read before I was trying to explain to myself. And he said, yeah, sure, different translation. And then he said, just go to the last page. So I went to the last page where you have uh, the story of forgiveness. And, and there's a prayer. And he said, please read that prayer. And I'm reading the prayer and my mind goes like this, you know, I don't, I, I think I believe in something like God. So if he's saying there is God, then God is telling me this, that he sent his son and he died for us on the cross. And if I accept this sacrifice, I can be forgiven and I will have eternal life. And I said, this, this makes sense. And he looks at me and said, can you pray this prayer? And I said, I think I can. And he asked me, can you do it aloud? never did it before, so I did it aloud. And when I reached it, I look at him and he said, Amen. I said, Amen. So I go to him, jumped on his neck, hugged him, and he said, what next? And he said, go to church 
read the Bible. Here it is for you. So that is how it happened. And since then I kept that Bible for many years and it was used quite a lot. And one day we met somebody on the street and he was he had problems and he asked how he can get out of those problems and I said you just need to read the Bible because I remember what he said. I don't even have a Bible, I'm so poor. I said, wait a minute. So it was in the car with me. So I went to the car, I picked up the Bible and said, here, this is for you. You read it and you will understand. So this is how it happened. Yeah, that's the story. You know, folks, we've heard hundreds of testimonies like Istvan's. The Gideons International is an international organization. We're in 199 countries. We publish the Bible in over 95 different languages. We gave out 85 million scriptures last year. That's over two Bibles a second, over 200,000 a day, over one and a half million Bibles every week. We don't know where those Bibles are going to go, but we are faithful in distributing and placing those Bibles in places like hotels and motels, schools, college campuses, fire and police stations, jails, hospitals, nursing homes, anywhere anybody will take a copy of God's Word. We let God's Word do the work and we also give a word of testimony because the two main goals of the Gideons are to share Christ with the world and to place a Bible in the hand of every man and woman, boy and girl. And I thank you for your support.